Now your iPad here, they, you'll see that you already have apps on there. You'll have them to YouTube, the camera, to iTunes, Maps, Game Center, Photo Booth, FaceTime, videos, internet, iPad, photos, App Store, iPod, music, notes, calendars, and your contacts. Now, to start with YouTube. YouTube's great. You can videotape yourself and then put it on YouTube, on the internet, or you can view other videotapes and share links to email or Facebook. The list goes on and on. Whoo! And also photographs. You can take many different pictures, even of yourself. And I have two different ways that you could do it. You either click it on the iPad or up where the volume bo button is, you can click pictures. Once you're done, you can edit or zoom or do anything with the picture. iTunes. That's where you can find your music and movies that you can download or purchase from the previous app store. Maps. It's a great resource in looking for locations, such as McDonald's. You just put in the information, click where you want the directions to show you, and then remember, you need Wi-Fi, and then you can take off and go, or 3G. Game Center. Oh, it's a great way that your friends can actually join you in playing a game. Pull up different games and you can challenge each other. Just click from the iPad. Photo booth. Wow, there's a lot of effects that you can pick from. Black and white, different um, displays of pictures, and you can share them with your friends. Take those pictures and send them right off. How cool is that? Next is FaceTime. That video could be used for video chat with friends. It works with Wi-Fi only and Apple. iPhone, MacBook, yes, it is a cool system. Videotapes. That's where you downloaded from the iTunes. Remember we could click on the movie? icon and that way you can watch them and big as life. Wow. Next is Safari. Safari is Apple's browser. Find my iPad.
Suppose your iPad was lost or stolen. You need to lock it up and set it up so if it was lost or stolen, somebody can track it. Next are photos. All the photos you've taken are downloaded and stored in this section of photos. Then the app stores. This is where you can purchase free or pay for apps that you want to download on your iPad too. iPod. That's for music to listen to. And you can also watch your favorite movies with music and just enjoy it. How cool is that? Mail. Mail. You can add any accounts that you want to feed into your iPad and then click the inbox to check them all at once. That's really neat. Notes. Notes. Hmm. That's for you to make a note to remind yourself about something or something that's already happened. Anything you want. Calendars. calendars. They're actually for you to know what today is or maybe add special events to remind yourself of. Contacts. It's an address book for you to list all the names of the people and their information. Now, setting up email accounts. You have Hotmail, AOL, Gmail, Yahoo, and even Exchange Mail. So you can set that up and get it going, and we'll show you more in depth about that on a vlog and explain how to set it up.